The world we live in surrounds us with video displays, flat screen TVs, monitors, projections, even handheld screens. This is the age of the screen. It's how we absorb information, events, entertainment, and culture. Screens capture and hold our attention in ways that still media cannot. They're more like reality, moving, real time, engaging our senses, where things happen that we can't anticipate, where ideas are communicated that captivate and inform us. My name is Dan Hermes, and I create moving paintings. Over the next few minutes, I'll tell you about my work and about this emerging genre. Moving paintings are, first and foremost, paintings. They're not video art in the traditional sense, nor are they film. They're a new form of painting, proceeding directly from our rich tradition of the application of pigment to a canvas with a brush. Most of the things you would expect to see in an oil painting, you'll find in a moving painting. Composition, line, color, design, concept, and a stylistic approach to the visual material. Also, there is a new and important element, time. While an oil painting must be a snapshot of one moment in time, a moving painting progresses through time, opening a new dimension of opportunities for the language of visual composition, line, color, and the other areas the artist is exploring. The works develop, change, progress, and speak through and over time. So it differs from narrative forms like traditional video art and film, and is more like music or contemporary dance. Art forms that progress through time without words. The other thing you'll see in a moving painting is luminosity. Oil painting must rely upon the light reflected off the paint to illuminate the work, while moving paintings produce their own light. This creates a different palette of colors and hues, and a different experience from viewing an oil painting. Moving paintings can be used in one of two ways, on flat screens and in projection installations. Flat screens are an ideal use of moving paintings in the home, gallery, commercial, and museum installations. For a standalone work, a dedicated screen is necessary, though a favorite with collectors is to have a private art channel on their home theater system. In between their recreational use of a screen, it becomes a canvas for moving painting. Once collectors become accustomed to this setup, a need can develop for additional artwork to be shown on the same screen. The second use, projection installation, allows a more liberal use of a space. These works needn't be rectangular in shape, nor even be on a wall. They can be projected on the ceiling or on any light object. Think of them as paintings that are not confined by a frame. Traditional video art can be disruptive to the functional use of a space, while moving paintings enhance the social environment. Bound only by relative light levels, they can be used as dynamic design elements. Even in world-class interior design, the possibilities have only just begun to be explored. The medium allows an artist to convey ideas directly into a space in subtle, powerful ways. High-quality affordable flat screens and projection technologies are creating new opportunities for artists and their collectors, changing the way we think about fine art. Our imaginations have only begun to consider the possibilities of this uniquely 21st century canvas. My name is Dan Hermes, and I create moving paintings. Let's move fine art forward together.